Jasmine Rodriguez and welcome to Chatting with Jazz. I'm here with Jennifer Lopez. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. That's good. So, I'm just going to ask you a few questions that all of your fans are wondering, okay? Okay. Okay. First question. How do you get ready for, for your performances? Well, um, I obviously get up in the morning, I go work out, get my body moving, mm -hmm. and then take some time to relax and get my mind into what I'm going to do next. Then I get a little snack and then I work out again to get my energy going. Then I go to sound check to make sure my voice is okay. And then I um, say a little prayer and I'm out doing what I do best. Now that is really inspiring. Have you ever wished for one day you can just be normal, like a regular individual? Well, um, no, not really, because if I ever want to be, you know, not so famous, I could just go out, get a hot dog, and just be myself. Interesting. Have you ever made a big mistake in your life that has changed your life? And then, if so, would you go back and change it? Well, I've obviously made big, you know, many mistakes in my life, who, like who hasn't, mm -hmm. but you learn from your mistakes, because if I did something bad and I realized that was wrong, then I know I would never do that again, and since if I went back in time and didn't do that, I never would have learned that it was the wrong thing to do. That's very true. Could you tell me about your journey from ordinary person to extraordinary person? Well, um, I remember I learned best from my parents. Mm -hmm. And when they would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I would always choose an extraordinary person. Because anyone can be extraordinary. Everyone is, ex no one's the same. So everyone is an extraordinary person in their own way. So being extraordinary is better than being ordinary in your eyes? Well, Everyone can, if you just work hard, you can just be what you are. Now, I understand you're a very busy person. I mean, being famous and all who isn't, but how do you manage your time? Well, it's all about balance. Because, mm -hmm. um, manage your time, time management. But at the end of the day, your kids always come first. So basically, everything falls around them. That is a really good thing to know. And if you could be anything else in this world besides who you are today, who would you be and why? Hmm. Well, I want to be something artistic. I can't paint, so that's out of the question. But um, something in its interior design, makeup, hairstyling, that's what I would go for, something along those lines. That's very interesting. Just in case your makeup designer messes up, at least you know how to do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what inspires you to sing and to like write your own music? Well, everything really. I could just work, look around and how I'm in that mood, what I'm feeling. I could just sing it. That's very interesting. Now, I have heard that you had something happen to you when you were 13 years old. Could you tell me about that? Well, I was driving in the car with my mom and some truck was behind us and um, the headlights flew through the back and landed in the back seat. And fortunately, I was in the front seat and I was in the path of that headlight. But luckily, I was bending down, tying my shoe, and so therefore it did not injure me in any way. It now, saved my life, tying my shoe. Now that is not something you hear every day. Tying your shoe saves your life. Yeah, and I actually did injure my nose. I got a flat nose, mm -hmm. so. So, your nose seems fine now, so did you have any procedure done to fix that? I didn't want to answer that question. Yeah. 
Nice coming. Oh, uh, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for coming to Chat with Jazz. Um, let's give one more thank you to Jennifer. Thank you, and it was nice meeting you. Thanks.